Hi everyone, today we are talking about lesson 36, fractions of a dollar. And today we've got to give, I need to give you some um, vocabulary before we talk about fractions. Our first piece of vocabulary is the word combinations. And this has a little bit of, a little different um, meaning than what you may, may understand. A combination is one or more parts selected from a set that are placed in groups in which order is not important. Now, think about numbers like to a combination lock. In this situation, order is important. And so this is, this is different than a combination lock. The way I like to think of combinations is when you go to Fizz and you order your favorite drink and you get three different flavor shots in it. Does it matter what, what order they put those in? No. So think of Fizz flavors as an example of combinations where it doesn't matter what order they're in. So that set aside, we also are going to talk about fractions and money. We know that there are 100 pennies in a dollar. We know that there are 10 dimes in a dollar, 20 nickels to a dollar, and f there we go. And four, why am I not getting this? Of course. Four quarters to a dollar. And guys, I'm not sure what is going on today, but technical difficulties. Ah, okay. So with that being said, when we have three pennies and we know that there are a hundred pennies to a dollar, what is the fraction going to be for three pennies? It's going to be three out of a hundred. Um, and when we write, we know that we can write that as a decimal form by saying zero, three. And that gives us an idea that we know that it's three parts of 100. The next qu question, what coin equals one fourth of a dollar? In this situation, we know that a quarter, there are four quarters to a dollar. And so when we have one quarter of a dollar, one quarter, it would be, we, would, we could say one fourth, but we also know that a quarter is valued at 25 cents. So 25 cents out of a dollar is another way that we can write it. We can also write it as a decimal, which is two five, and then we'll put a little dollar sign. Our next question, three dimes are a fraction of what dollar, of a dollar? Okay, first off, we know that there are 100 cents in a dollar. We know that we have three dimes and that would be 30 cents, 30 out of a dollar. And we would write this as 30 cents in a decimal form. Now they want us to think about what is 1 20th of a dollar and half of a dollar. We know that, that there are five, there are 20 nickels to every dollar. And so for 1 20th of a dollar would be five cents out of a hundred because we know that one nickel is a twentieth of a dollar. We know that half a dollar would be fifty cents out of a hundred. And so while these are different fractions, we can take and look at both of them with the same denominator so that we can compare them accurately. So five cents or 50 cents, which one is greater? We know that it's going to be 50 cents. Now, finally, we get to do some groups or some combinations where it doesn't matter, order doesn't matter necessarily. And we want to group 
these coins. We've got a quarter, we've got a dime, we have a nickel, and we have a penny. So I'm going to just do it by initials. And I'm going to start off with my penny. We're going to go penny, nickel, dime, quarter. Then I'm going to go penny, Oh, wait, 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 hang on guys. It's saying, which, how can we group three coins? So let's erase this. Let me erase this. Let's see, undo, undo, undo. So how can we group three coins? I'm looking at this, I'm like, this does not sound right. So here's what you need to do. We can say penny, nickel, dime, penny, nickel, quarter. Is there anything else that we can do? We can also say penny, dime, and quarter. And let's see, it looks like we've got one more. Nickel, dime, and quarter. So just to be clear, these we can, we can group them in any order, but we want them so that they're isolated to that, um, to that. So if we have, think of it as three people and you have three things, three people, you can only have these three people at one point. It doesn't matter the order that these are in. So once more, we have these combinations. Now I would like you to go to the homework and um, I wish you well.